What's up YouTube, it's your boy Jamal Abiyade and welcome back for yet another YouTube video. Today I'm going to teach you the four ways to change the pitch or octave of an audio file. Now this audio file can be a vocal, a song sample, a loop, piano, anything. I'm going to teach you four ways how to change the pitch or octave of an audio file. And make sure you guys stay around to the end so you can see each pitch plugin because each pitch plugin is used for something different and they're going to get better as the video goes along, alright? But before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Actually comment right now what video you guys want next and I'll make sure I get that up pretty soon And make sure you go check out my new 90 sample kit pretty girls love samples It has 25 unique crazy R&B samples that are drag and drop style so you guys can start making some beats fast But look you guys enough of all that let's get into the video how to change the pitch of audio files All right, you guys, so let's get into it. The first things first is we got to pick an audio file to do I already have my pretty girls love samples open is ready to go Oh, that sounds good. Uh, uh, let's do reason to love. That's a good one. So we're gonna drag it into there, drag and drop, boom. Switch it to 115 BPM, and it's gonna loop perfectly. The link for this sample kit is gonna be in the description. It's 9.99, and it's, it's gonna be ready. All you gotta do is put drums around. It'd be good. But let's get into this tutorial. So you're, if you're asking, why is it four ways? Because each of these four ways. They're important. Each of these four ways are important because each pitch sounds a little different for different things, okay? Um, they all work, but they all sound different. Like, so, so different type of beats, I would use different type of pitch pitch plugins. But these are all free plugins. These are all um, stock plugins, all right? The first way to change a pitch for an audio file is transpose. So um, let's say this is not open. Let's so say your screen's not open. You have to hit the inspector over here, which is the I. Boom, you see region. Hit that drop down menu, boom, transpose. Now, to get this transpose to work, you see it's not, it's, um, it's grayed out. To get it to work, you gotta click an audio file. Boom, as soon as I click it, it's on there. So you hit, let's listen to the sample right now. All right, see so here are our sounds. So if I, if, I, if I put it plus one, and all you gotta do is click it, you can type in what? You could type in one, and it'll do plus one, or you can type in negative one, it'll be negative one. And what you are doing is going up a note. That's all you're doing, you're going up a note. So let's say this is, I don't know what note what note this sample's in, but let's say is I have this ready for you guys right here. Let's say the sample's in C. If you press one, it's gonna go up to D. If you play plus two, it's gonna go up to E. All right, you got it? Now let's say if the sample is C and you do negative one, it's gonna go to B, say negative two, it's gonna go to A. Now you can keep on doing this forever. You can go negative 18. And you, if you know your notes and you know your scale, you can go down there. So, but you say, let's say it's gonna be negative six. It's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's now gonna be a D. If you know your notes and you know your scales, that's how that works there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, a, a three on my transpose. All right, I'm gonna go up negative uh, plus six and transpose. All right, I'm gonna go to negative five. In negative 12, I think that's supposed to be a whole octave change. I, I think, I'm not really sure. Now to teach you a little more about transpose, so I'm gonna copy this right here. So think about transpose. So these are all on the same track, right? So if I click this transpose right here and it click and go to negative six, it's gonna sound like this. But look listen to this one, the first one. So this is still a negative twelve, and this new one's at negative six. Why do they not change together? Because transpose only, it doesn't matter if they're on the same track, transpose only works on whatever you have highlighted. So I had this highlighted when I changed to negative six. That's why this didn't change from negative six. And you can see right here, it sits at the top, negative six. And on this one right here, it says negative 12. So if I wanted to highlight both of them, I just highlighted both of them, Trans go to transpose and change them both to negative six. And they both change to negative six, but they have to be highlighted for the transposes work. It does not matter if they're on the same track. 
So that's that's the number one way as transpose. And so now we're at our second way to how to change the pitch of an audio file, okay? And it's a plugin named Pitch Shifter. It's a logic a plugin that comes with logic. So for me, Pitch Shifter, I don't use it for um any kind of instruments, any samples. I only use it for my voice, but you can still use it and you still might like the tone of it. So I want to show it to you. But me personally, I would not use this for a sample. I would use this for my voice only. That's me personally, but let's see how you like the sound of it. So pitch shifter, you just go to this, um, make sure you have the inspector window open, boom, and you just go to down to the plugin side. I'm on the second one right here. Plugin, boom, go to pitch, pitch shifter, stereo, boom. So you see how it sounds some, some funny? Because it's on sem semitones and it's on seven, right? But it's 25%. So if I want the whole thing, so 25% means only 25% of the mix or the output is pitched. If I want the whole thing pitched, I have to put 100%. So, and it's, it has, it has, you can do drum, speech, vocals. You can change it up a little bit. I like putting the sense up a little bit. And all you do is change the semitones to change the pitch. And you can hear the difference between the synths if you change it, move it around a little bit. But like I said, I only use this for vocals. I wouldn't use it for a sample like this. I would use it for vocals, okay? So that's the second way. The second way is the pitch shifter. The third way to change the pitch of an audio sample is called is an audio unit by Apple called New Pitch. So I just go to this plugins again. I go down to audio units. I go to Apple. And I, I should say a U new pitch and it does right there stereo boom so i usually don't use this too much it's the same thing same parameter same kind of thing you change the pitch using this right here you change the pitch using this right here so i'll let it play Pretty simple one. It's kind of basic. This is one. This is the uh, pitch I use when I started sampling tracks. This is the pitch I was using. I liked it. It looks. It works pretty good. I don't use it as much because it sounds good. It's a great pitch scale, but you can't do too many um, customizations to this pitch. It's just one knob, it's straight up. What it is. So my last one is another Apple Audio unit, and this is what I use most of the time when I'm making beats and changing the pitch for things. I was changing the pitch for samples. I use my um, audio unit just called pitch, not new pitch, just pitch. So I'm gonna go here and no plug in that. And I'm gonna go down to audio units. I'm gonna go to Apple and I'm gonna go down. It's gonna AU pitch stereo. So this is what I use the most of the time. I like this because it has the effect blend. Effect blend is 100%. Again, effect blend is if I put the pitch up a little bit. Effect blend is how much, effect blend is all this is um, 100% right now. And effect blend is just how much is, how much percentage of the output do you want to be the new pitch and what percent of the output do you want to be um the old uh audio file i do 100 percent usually when i'm doing this i just like it because it has smoothness and tightness and it changes the pitch up a little bit so again i'm gonna just change the pitch And you can really change it. You can see, you can hear the difference when I change the smoothness and the tightness. And that's the way I usually change pitch. But it's all about sometimes you gotta play with it. Sometimes this, the the pitch I'm using right now, the AU pitch, sounds better high. But sometimes the transpose, the first thing I showed you, sounds better when the lower octaves. So you guys gotta play with it. You're gonna start saying, "Oh, I like the lower octaves." of this plugin better. I like it higher with this one. I like it when it speeds up, it sounds better on this one. So that's four ways how to change the pitch in Logic Pro. They're all stock plugins. So you guys should go ahead and have fun with these.
whether you're sampling or just want to change the pitch of your voice or anything i hope these are useful for you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe that really helps my channel we're almost at 20k subscribers yes it's been a journey make sure you guys go check out my new 90s r b sample kit pretty girls love samples it is out now it's fire it's on my website 25 plus samples for 9.99 you guys are gonna love it look like you guys thank you guys for watching this was a quick one but i know it was useful for someone i will see you guys next week same time with another youtube video Cheer.